Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful Leo. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really appreciate that. I am somehow feeling, Leo, that you have been feeling like broken hearted. All right. You might have been waiting on a phone call or a message and you are feeling broken hearted that probably, yeah, this may be a Valentine energy that you know you were expecting you were expecting that somebody will reach and did not reach you all right so you are uh, probably feeling broken hearted that's how i'm feeling all right uh, absolutely woman holding a heart bottom of the deck card number 44 and for you the uh, the card that we got leo is justice card all right so some of you have been fighting some kind of legal battle for some time that is uh, with the full moon with the cosmic alignment planetary transits that's taking place up in the sky in the mighty sky i feel like some of you are going to close a karmic cycle if you have been fighting some court cases divorce alimony or any court cases regarding property mortgage child um, uh, custody or anything like that or you felt some way shape or form somebody has done wrong to you all right you have been fighting for justice then justice will be served to you because it is written in contract for you this lifetime to be given out justice all right and this card number is six and we are in the year of six that's the venus energy venus is all white and i'm wearing white all right and red color re represents mars all right so with the cosmic dance of venus and mars right now leos you are going to experience major justice being served to you all right it may be pertaining to a love relationship as well probably somebody has done really dirty on you wrong with you all right and you see six four four is eight six plus eight is 14 and 14 adds up to five all right so five is all about change and change is coming your way with the current planetary transits all right so with the current planetary transit sun and moon energy um up in the sky mars and venus energy then three gurus uh, jupiter saturn and venus they are having a beautiful cosmic dance all right so the energy will be very much strong all right and you see not only that you are going to get justice whatever life lesson that you have been going through the test and turbulent time that you have been going through and um, going through you are going to uh, be like you will be able to see new you all right leo you are turning out to be somebody new you trusting your intuition careful reflection before taking action insights that come through meditation all right you you people may be getting into that holistic life doing meditation yoga pranayam exercises all right you may be doing all this that's how i am feeling with the high priestess energy you are a person who has all the knowledge of the universe all right you have all the knowledge of the universe if you uh, and you see this is 2 plus 6 is 8 and we already got 4, 4. That's 8. 8, 8 is all about infinity. So what goes around comes around. So something has happened in your life, Leo, where you have gone, you have gone through a lot of sacrifices, all right? A lot of test and turbulent time. That's how I'm feeling. And it was all taking place in your life to help you uh, find your balance, your footing, understanding of who you are or right, why you are here what is the purpose all right hence you were going through a lot of karma all right you had a lot of karma to pay not just for yourself probably from ancestral background as well all right some of you may be 144,000 chosen one who was who is incarnated to pay the karmic debts of your ancestor all right and now with the current planetary transits you have paid all the karmic debts and you are absolutely ready to make that charge make that move uh, in the right direction because you have found your balance and you are ready to charge because now you have that high priestess knowledge and wisdom and understanding and you see the light that is falling here you know you are having you you, you are getting those enlightenments and understanding as you are evolving you know this is something that is written on stars <coughs> affirmation this is something that is taking place in your life that is written on stars and justice will be served to you anybody done wrong to you justice will be served to you anybody kept you stuck 
uh, hang in there, nothing was taking place, you felt like your life is stuck, no clarity. I, I'm strongly feeling with this card out here, it is all about love and somebody is thinking highly about you, all right? Somebody is really thinking highly about you in order to heal the connection with the sun energy, all right? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. And this is something that is written on stars. So with the current planetary transits, with the past life experiences or with the experiences that you have gone through in this lifetime, you were, you were associated with some kind of karmic debts which you were supposed to pay by this time in order to come in that alignment of your yin and yang within you to know who you are, who you are, what you are, why you are here. You maybe some of you are maybe twin flames, all right? Not maybe, I I assure you. You some of you if you have this question whether you are in a twin flame dynamic or not, then yes, you are in a twin flame dynamic, all right? This is a divinely guided connection, divinely guided relationship which is written on stars to come in alignment which is written in stars to come in alignment and make a progress in life, come in union with each other. All right, because written, this is just time to happen. All right, this is just time to happen. Hence, somebody is uh, thinking about processing their love towards that beautiful queen of pentacle. All right, this person was in darkness before, was not understanding how to do justice. All right, uh, and with the high priestess energy and the moon energy, what I'm feeling is that this person did not have the entire clarity of this connection of what twin flame is all about, what what is this all about. This person probably did not have that understanding, all right, and now they are getting that understanding, all right, hence they are uh, thinking about doing justice. And this thinking man card, this number is 10, that's 4 plus 6 is 10, all right. So 10, we got, uh, we got two 10 out here, you see, 10, 10, all right. So 10, 10 is all about completion, all right. 10, 10 is all about finally finding that footing and grounding. And I told you, if 6 plus 8 is 14, and this is card number 14. So if you are seeing 14, 14 or 5, 5 in some way, shape or form, so 14, 14 adds up to 5, 5 and at the end it's 10 again, all right. So 10, 10, 10, you are nearing some kind of completion and in full moon. This completion will take place and you will turn out to be that high priestess kind of an energy, the empress kind of an energy, the earth nourisher kind of an energy where you are that yen and yang. You have finally found the DM energy and DF energy in alignment within you and now ready to move ahead after having all the clarities, after having all the clarities in your life, all right, after having all the clarities in your life, to create something new not for only yourself for others as well and interestingly it is all because you are the Shakti within you are I'm feeling like the group of people that I'm connecting to here this group of people Leo you had this energy within you that probably irrespective of your gender you were vibing in the DM energy all right Hence, you got disconnected with your DF energy. You turned out to be bitter, sore, um, used to get angry, little, little things. And hence, you have experienced some, you know, karmas, like where you experienced towers, turbulent, heartbreak. You felt like your your heart was torn apart, all right? And, and I believe that this energy came towards you. Since the time your DM, your love interest entered your life, that's how I'm feeling, all right? Because it was divinely orchestrated as it was written in the scripts before you were even incarnated, all right? You needed a lot of strength to, to understand who you are, to understand who you are, and to understand who you are, you see? You are that magician, the high priestess, the temperance, you know, a person who knows how the divine masculine and feminine energy works. Now you know. You know, what are your divine masculine energies and what are your feminine energies and how you can balance that and how you can temper that because you have the high knoll, uh, you know, you have that connection with the high priestess energy. You have that intuition, that gut feeling, that understanding. This is what it is. And that's how you make some choices, you know, make some wise decisions and hence you continue to pay your karmas and come out clean after paying your karmic debts. You know, and for that, you really needed a lot of strength to close a cycle, all right? 
you really needed a lot of strength to close the cycle all right and you have gone through a lot of a lot of death and rebirth process you see interesting you have sacrificed a lot you know you have experienced tower death and you have sacrificed a lot to have finally find that higher level of commitment with your own soul with this hierophant card all right so what i am feeling is that my dear beautiful beautiful um god has put you into that hermit mode all right four of swords kind of an energy you know to to help you see who you are my dear what you are doing what you are supposed to do which way you need to go all right i'm there to help you just follow my guidance because at the end i want to tell you that you are a twin flame here on a mission to touch others life and that can be done only when you have completed a cycle with the world card only when you have paid your karmic debts you have signed a contract and you have cleared that contract all right once you have done that completed the cycle all right that's when you know you have to be very very much full of strength have that courage and determination and have that higher level of commitment with yourself know who you are you are that soul here incarnated in this human avatar to not only live your life with fullness or with gaiety with determination with luxury love soulful connection all right for that you needed to really really see things from the depth of it and sacrifice also in this process all right what does not serve you let go of what does not serve you release what does not serve you free yourself from any kind of false belief system or clutches and that can be done only when you know who you are in your truth all right and you see this is for me it's like shiv and shakti all right and this is the shakti card this is the death card you have been going through a lot of metamorphosis process to turn out to be a magician all right you can see who you used to be 5 years back to who you are today leo you are not the same person and this is something that has been promised to you by the universe that my child once you have a completely clearly understood like who you are why you are here what is your purpose what is your mission what is your soul calling all right as as you continue to grow to understand who you are why you are here and you take charge of all this and and you follow your gut you follow your intuition you stay intact with your higher knowledge and wisdom all right what is promised to you it will definitely come out of all this card this card came not coincident and as far as the <coughs> as far as the love is concerned you know somebody is while you are working on all this to whatever i narrated in a different dimension altogether if you are in separation with this person not in talking terms this person is thinking about extending their love towards you all right love towards you this woman is holding a heart all right okay this is not a queen of pentacle i saw i said queen of pentacle yeah probably this person is so grounded right now with that temperance energy you see with this temperance and temperance energy this person is absolutely in tune in balance with her cup energy and with her pentacle energy with her sword energy and with her um uh passion energy all right cup energy pentacle energy sword energy and wand energy right this person has complete grip in her, of her life and somebody is seeing you for who you are your worth like wow you know what there is no match there is no option there is no there is no option for this person uh, you know that's what this person is saying that there is really no no option um, that it's more like there is no replacement of yours that's the right word because they are connected in tune with their soul this person is now connected and in tune with their soul while you were going through all this to whatever i said somewhere someone somewhere is in deep contemplation you see meditation and contemplation somebody is in deep contemplation and meditation or right thinking very high highly about this person from their soul space or right to come make a commitment this is the hierophant card willing to make a commitment and want to take that leap of faith because they are saying that you are the right match 
okay and this is the second chakra archangel ariel all right they see that you are the right match and they are willing to take that leap of faith and they know that you are their son you are their love all right with the lovers and sun card all right they see that you are you guys are made for each other both of you like heal each other you see this is the dark energy like kind of moon energy and this is uh, sun energy all right you both mirror each other you both love each other you both care for each other you both feel passionate for each other you are dedicated surrendered to each other this connection this is something that you did not feel before when you guys were in together all right when you guys were in with each other all right when in separation you both have understood the greater and bigger value of each other's presence in your life all right and that's how as you continue to grow in, at your end you started to work on yourself and started to look like that queen of cups energy queen of pentacles energy queen of swords energy and queen of uh, want energy pa person full of intellectual beauty with brain all right a person full of passion creativity go 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 warrior spirit all right a person who is motherly nurturing caring all right a person who is full of love compassion empathy for everybody this person is thinking about all this of who you are all right and they know you are just everything for them you are their sun you are their moon you are their life force and they know that they need to do justice there you go they know that they need to do justice and if they don't do justice karma will bite them they understand this if they don't come to you do justice this person will be followed by karma and they will never be ha having a you know grounded life in their life they have complete understanding of this and they are willing to act with integrity as an emperor and do justice to you all right look at that two cards together with each other empress and emperor you know this is counterpart all right this is something that is written on stars is destined all right with this card <clears throat> okay yeah this is something that is destined okay you guys are destined to be together to be in love to be uh, compatible for each other come in that alignment because you guys are twin flame all right if some of you have this question whether i'm a twin flame or not I don't know sometimes I feel like this is karmic and sometimes I feel like no this is very much of like a twin flame energy then I'm telling you my dear beautiful viewers that you guys are twin flames all right your union is written on stars you guys are going to take that leap of faith all right towards higher level of commitment all right you both have contemplated on it all right you really really have uh, <coughs> contemplated on it and one person thought of doing justice uh, and make sure that this relationship is not shattered. This, you know, they were destructive before. Now they are trying to be constructive to save this connection. All right. And they are conjuring up all their strength to come towards their empress. All right. This person is conjuring up all their strength to come towards their empress to profess their love because they see who they are and what they are made up of. They see you as like beauty with brain a person there is no comparison all right this is a person there is no comparison and just by thinking i'll be wasting out my time and i'll, I'll be losing out on this a beautiful queen so i need to make a fast move and that's why they are also getting that higher knowledge and wisdom from the universe with this current planetary transit slew all right so whatever you have been asking to the universe about justice being served to you about whatever you are going through all through this time only to help you understand today the messages that i brought for you it was all because of this and with the current planetary transits justice will be served to you all right and this person will come towards you as i explained to you all right all you need to do is continue to vibe in that positive energy completely surrender yourself to the universe and continue to do you the way whatever you are doing as of now 
all right live a very holistic and authentic life be truthful to yourself be completely grounded firm all right keep charging ahead and i promise you this person will make a move probably in the next six days all right six weeks six months something will take place in the next six months major changes will take place in your life all right and whatever plenary transits we are in right now this energy has an impact that will continue till october 18th this year all right so this energy surge shifting and changing and mm, bringing everything on into order all right because you guys are falling apart now all right universe is trying to bring two souls together now all right not only in spirit cosmically it is taking place in your higher consciousness it is taking place you guys are coming in union in spirit as you continue to align yourself in spirit as above so below all right you will automatically see that your dm is reaching out to you calling you messaging you you know you guys have started to talk and for some i feel like you guys will start to stay together as well with the sun card because you know and with the emperor and empress the card that came together as a counterpart i'm feeling like that all right they don't want to waste any more time all right they want to spend time with you because they are now feeling that they really have wasted a lot of time the time that they could have stayed together and understand you more, you know, take care of this relationship more instead of going here and there, taking you as an option, all right, and taking you for granted, leaving you for somebody else, whatever they have done all through this time, they want to fix it, all right, and they don't want to waste any further time here and there so they want to stay with you all right if during this lockdown if uh, you guys are working from home then they also understand that this is a wonderful time to you know where they will get time to spend time with you so i feel like when you guys will come in union some of you will be uh, you know staying together what a beautiful message i i just wanted a confirmation to whatever i am saying and this is ace of want my messages i love you father it's time to take action be fearless and happy pursue your most treasured dreams amazing career opportunities you guys are going to rock all right when you guys will come in union i'm hearing somebody's uh, 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 burning the crackers wow that's a beautiful confirmation all right i'm very happy leo whatever sacrifices you have made in this twin flame journey i feel like you guys in this journey for the last six years i'm feeling like that all right in this connection all right leo and this is what i'm feeling that with the crackers confirmation with the ace of one you guys are going to have a life full of spark i mean your present in people around is going to ignite others people energies you know your energy is going to be like that because this this journey uh, the sacrifice that you have made because everything will come now to you 10 times multiplied all right you are going to harvest um, positive results for all the sacrifices that you have made in the past all right that's what your father in heaven has to let you know that uh, keep charging ahead my child don't you fear don't you fear your father is with you all right i'm telling you your father is with you you don't have to fear keep charging ahead boldly and beautifully all right you are a fire sign you are the shakti yourself all right so i mean i am feeling like that scorpio uh, i just ended up saying i scorpio i don't know you may be dealing with the scorpio but lord shivai is the scorpionic energy and shakti is the um the uh, the leo house represents shakti all right leo that's tiger all right so it's full of passion you see and you know you will have that divine walking by your side from here on all right and you will not be tempted or fall prey to any negative energies all right you are going to get protected by your uh, heavenly mother and father that's how i'm feeling all right because you you see when you are paying karmic debts your father and mother in in heaven also has some promises to you that was made to you much before you were incarnated all right that my child from the time you will pay all your karmic debts the day when justice will be served to you all you will find by your side is your father and mother protecting you like your own baby are you getting me that's what i'm feeling for you and that's why it's it this reading came like a beautiful sing the way you saw me i read the card 
all right so that's how i'm feeling all right so get ready my dear get ready don't discount these messages okay don't take it uh, for one random message no these are not random messages these are energy messages i'm downloading from the universe for you those who are meant to watch this reading till the end this is going to be prophesized it will start to take place and you will see its validation this messages validation from that moment on the moment you will be tuning into this reading all right you will start to see this connections taking place in the 3d world as well to whatever i just said you will start to feel it in your bones you will start to feel it energetically intuitively gut wise signs and synchronicities will start to pop up you will be like that all right so i hope my dear beautiful beautiful viewers that you were able to connect with the messages until we meet again i'm sending across much love and light to you all om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace bye bye